Happy birthday to me. Hi everyone, this is RJ at singledad.com and today is my birthday. Um, 45, that is, my 45th birthday. And 45 is just a number and it never felt so good. Anyways, um, this video is kind of dedicated to the past 45 years and looking forward to the next 45 years or more. So the question I ask myself is what do I remember? Well, um, I remember having a lot of fun as a child and I have some fond memories of just being one of these happy kids who was very fortunate to have some great parents who uh, definitely instilled a lot of confidence and love in our family. I remember playing a lot with my brother and my sister and um, well, take a look at some of these pictures. So my childhood was pretty fun. I mean, I remember a lot of things about it and some things I don't remember about it. But um, I like to think of my childhood as a lot of fun. And I played a lot. And I grew up in a very nice neighborhood in terms of having lots of friends to play with. And um, I also remember a little bit about traveling a lot to go to grade school. And I met a wonderful group of more friends and made a lot more new friends in a new neighborhood. And um, I remember the grade school years went very fast and it's kind of cool because now I get to actually um, see a lot of the people that I went to grade school with on my Facebook page and it's, it's a great experience. And then there was uh, middle school, which was a blur. I remember in grade school, I discovered I liked playing the drums, and I was a drummer. And um, I got to play in the band. And I even had a band, briefly. And um, what I remember about middle school is it was a time of figuring out, I guess, the word right versus wrong, you know, in terms of doing good versus bad. And um, I remember riding my bike to middle school a lot with my friends and getting to school was important. It was a long ride. And um, middle school was a blur as well, what I remember, of course. And then there was high school. And high school was Let's just say, take a look at these pictures. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So what I liked about high school was sports, making new friends, making a lot of friends, and having a lot of fun. And growing up in Riverside, California, was a great experience because we had rolling hills, we had citrus groves, and um, I remember myself just being an average student. Just kind of like, you know, I had to push some grades through to get to college, which my college life was amazing as well. And I just remember going to college and um, through the efforts of my junior, senior year, I really had to push some good grades through to get accepted. So I went to school in San Diego, San Diego State University, and I met another group of friends, leaving my small town in Riverside and going out there, not with anybody from my school or my hometown, and realizing it was a much bigger, bigger city, uh, a bigger pond, and a lot more fish. So what I remember about college was another little mini city 
filled with lots of people your same age. And that was kind of like, to me, college was a lot like being a mini grown-up and having to make decisions for yourself. I remember one time I had to call my parents up on a weekend where I got invited to go out of town and I actually called my parents up and asked them if I can go. And my dad was on the phone with me and he said, son, do you know if you went to that weekend out of town, your mom and I would never know you went. And yes, you have permission to go, but I just thought I'd let you know, those are your decisions you have to make. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I actually called my parents to ask for permission. The other thing I remember what my mom was telling me when she was um, pregnant with me was she told me that I was kicking her seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So what do you know? My birthday is 724. That was one of the stories she told me. She said she wasn't surprised I was born on 724 because I was one of those babies in her stomach that kept kicking her seven days a week, 24 hours a day. It didn't matter. I was always a kicker. That's what she said. So, the birth of all three of my children was a great experience, life changing experience. And I'm so fortunate to have three healthy, disease free, defects free children that are happy and healthy. And this first half of my life, it's been a great experience raising three children. Um, it was also a great experience. Uh, with her mom, being married for 10 years with her and having met her out of college, falling in love and sharing the birth of all three of those children. It was a great experience. I also had the opportunity to be a co-parent and to remarry and what I learned in the first 45 years is how challenging but rewarding it is to be a co-parent and to remarry with someone else who has a child. So I look back on these last 45 years and I can say that having witnessed the birth of three children, being married right out of college, divorcing, Remarrying another woman, co-parenting another child. These are all experiences. And divorcing again. Two marriages, two divorces. Three children, one co-parenting experience. I look back on all of these and I say to myself, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today. Obviously, everything happens for a reason. And I'm here celebrating my 45th birthday. And with that said, happy birthday to me. And I'm looking forward to the next 45.